Hi everyone, my name is Christina Martinez and I am a Doctor of Occupational Therapy student at the University of Texas Health Science Center at San Antonio. I will be presenting our poster, Partnering with Community Organizations to Address Early Mobility. My partner Christina Biddle and I assisted Dr. Allegretti with the Go Baby Go project, which provides early mobility to young children through a low-cost way to modify a ride-on toy car. These cars are adapted to fit the individual child's needs, as well as to provide an opportunity for environmental exploration and enhance client factors, such as the child's cognition, social play, and independence. We were able to do this by partnering with high school students from Texas Military Institute, who are able to modify the toy car utilizing their innovation and design lab. This partnership between OTD students and STEM-focused high school students facilitated learning opportunities for all partnerships while working towards a common goal to create an individualized modified ride-on toy car for a young child with cerebral palsy. For our methods, our OTD students first met with TMI students and teachers to discuss our field of occupational therapy, the Go Baby Go project, and descriptions of our child with cerebral palsy who would be taking home the modified car. The students from TMI then showed us their lab and presented ideas they had that can help with the modifications for the child. This initial meeting emphasized the role of OT within healthcare and educated the students on the benefits of early mobility while also allowing an opportunity to brainstorm what modifications were needed that would be personalized to the fit of the child based on our OT assessment. After this meeting, we continued communication with TMI and the child's family to, to determine what further low-cost modifications were needed based on the child's needs. Some of the modifications done in the picture shown below included adding cushioning to the side rails with pool noodles to prevent our child from falling over the side. We also adjusted the angle of the backrest and headrest using a boogie board to assist with positioning of our child. We then added a push switch to the steering wheel to allow the child to easily activate the car to move because of her lack of control in her lower extremities, which would have prevented her from moving the car in its original state. By adding this push switch or button to the steering wheel, it allowed easy access for her to control the vehicle with her upper extremities and hands. After the car was complete, we invited the family to come to TMI to meet everyone who worked on the project and discuss safety, modifications done to the car, and activities for the child that can be done while using the car to improve the child's participation in daily activities, communication skills, and interaction with the environment. In conclusion, through this community collaboration, we are able to provide a child a chance at early mobility and the chance to explore her environment independently that she may have otherwise not been able to access. Once the child got in the vehicle and learned that she could move the car with a simple push of the switch, she smiled and waved as she moved throughout the innovation lab. This modified car built through collaboration provided the opportunity to advocate and demonstrate the value of OT services while also demonstrating opportunities available within the healthcare field to utilize STEM knowledge and skills to benefit the health and well-being of others. With this poster, we hope to encourage other healthcare professions to create these partnerships within their community to create products that can provide environmental access that will further benefit their clients. Thank you for listening.